Hey Crafty Peeps, this is Angel Holt with Angel Holt's Designs. I'm here to show you this is uh, this second Treasure Deluxe project for this month. Yes, I have one more to go. And uh, I'm going to do an altered lampshade mobile, um, shabby chic style. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to create a mobile with this using beautiful laces from Treasure Deluxe. And I'm really excited about this idea. Uh, I kept thinking about it. I have several of these laid around. And I always grab them at yard sales and stuff for like a quarter. And I was like, okay, I'm going to make a cute shabby chic mobile. And I'm going to be playing around with some laces. And just different things to uh, make this really, really cute and stuff. So, sit back, relax, and... Uh, enjoy the process all right
Okay, crafty peeps, I have this suspended from the top of my shelf so that I can go over with you uh, this, what I have done here. Okay, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I uh, took the lampshade down to the bare uh, bones of it, basically uh, down to the frame. And I used a lot of Tracer Deluxe laces and I layered them on there. Um, then I tied some pieces of... Uh, canvas pieces of uh, laces here i strung some pearls put lots of bling and i just got done adding down here uh, a spoon and fork and a beautiful ball using some clear uh, wire also as you see here i have uh, pieces of chandelier i have bling on ribbon um, I have the letter A, and this A I found at Michael's for a dollar. So try to look for the pearl letters um, because they're really cute. Here is a uh, Christmas ball, a Christmas ornament that I got last year, never used. So that would be perfect here. As you see, I also cascaded some pearls down here at the bottom, and I used larger pearls, and then I cascaded some smaller pearls to kind of give it that shabby chic chandelier look. Um, I added a huge piece of bling here. Let me move my camera. A uh, huge piece of bling here. I was thinking about offering these um, in my store, but they are expensive, so I'm kind of on the fence about it. But I absolutely love it. It's just a gorgeous piece. Um, flowers, uh, little uh, stick pins here with uh, rhinestones, some rhinestone trim, some roses, and I love this. This is um, I'm going to be carrying uh, Melissa Francis's little doodads and stuff like this. Either her metal filigrees. And uh, I clipped on a vintage photo. And this vintage photo can be found on my Pinterest board. Uh, vintage, you know, my vintage photos Pinterest board. So, um, these, I had a lady ask me what these letters were from. They are from the Scrabble game. Um, so, I spelled out the word grace. I misspelled it there for a minute and I was trying to spell it something else and while my daughter was talking to me and I was like oh lord I just messed that up but it's grace and uh, this is a butterfly applique I had that has little tails and I put a piece of pearl in there um, this is by Tim Holtz um, that's his uh, some of his new metal filigrees that he has with the roses it is called that collection is called Adornments Nature. Okay, all of these buttons here are truly vintage. They are from a friend of mine. Uh, these are from her mom when she was younger. And these are very vintage buttons. So I was really excited to put them on here. Um, here again, just stringing pearl. And this just turned out stunning. And I cannot wait to hang it up in my craft room. For the sun to capture the stuff and just I'm just, I've got five more of these lampshades and you got to guess I think I'm gonna make a collage of uh, shabby chic lampshade chandeliers I think it'd be awesome 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 so as always uh, hook me up on Facebook Pinterest YouTube uh, Instagram and Twitter uh, if you haven't done so already, please like this video. I know many of you will like this and want to do this project. And if you do do this project and get inspiration from my design, hook me up. Let me see what you have done and give me a shout out. I would love to see um, how you made your own shabby chic chandelier. Also, uh, please uh, follow all the links to Trace Shore Deluxe and the other design team members. Um, so that you can get inspired with one more, even more wonderful designs using Trace or Deluxe products. Also, um, uh, be sure, oh yes, be sure to uh, sign up for, uh, uh, be a member of my Facebook group, The Bling Chronicles. It's really growing and it is becoming really, really popular. And um, it's a great place. Uh, to share all sorts of crafty secrets, ways to get products, uh, and you get to talk with a bunch of 
fabulous ladies and also get tons and tons of information and inspiration also and and it's just a great place to be um online and um please 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 stay for photos i will have detailed photos at the end of this video uh please excuse me i must have a cold or something but i've lost my voice just about so i'm gonna cut this short uh again thank you for stopping by and uh like always i'll see you next in next time i mean bye bye <laughs>